Hello guys and welcome to a new video. It's been almost a year since the last time I used the MX9 due to the continuous nerfs that basically killed this gun. Stop! Stop! He's already dead. Although the first nerf was necessary because this gun was way too overpowered. But I don't believe the other nerfs were needed for BR. And I believe the MX9 was a victim to the abuse in MP mode because many players kept using it even after being nerfed twice. However, the MX9 got a small buff this season and even though it's a bit late, I'll be showcasing my best build for it. Then we'll compare it to my current Mac 10 build. After that, we'll see a high kill gameplay showing the MX9 in action. And finally, I'll share my opinion on this gun and whether it can be used as a main gun or not. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. Starting with the fire rate, the MX-9 shoots 857 rounds per minute, while the Mac-10 still has the fastest fire rate of 1200 rounds per minute. As for the killing times, first of all, hugging an enemy with 300 HP at 5 meters range, the Mac-10 dominates in every single part of the body. And at 15 meters range, the MX-9 dominates in almost every single part of the body except the legs, and that's thanks to its range. So basically, when it comes to the killing time, the Mac-10 is better within 10 meters range, but anything beyond that, the MX-9 is better. Next, we have the hipfire accuracy. And ever since the hipfire nerf they made to all SMGs, you'll notice that most SMGs share similar hipfire accuracy. And in this case, it's exactly the same crosshair size, which means the exact same accuracy of 50.4 for both guns. As for the recoil, the Mac-10 is easier to control, especially when it comes to the horizontal recoil. And finally, here are the other important comparisons between the two guns. Now let's move on to the gameplay and test this build in action. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and let's get started. Guys is active. 
Half of the teams are eliminated. Down to the last five teams. Trap deployed. Trap deployed. I knew this player had a shotgun and I knew he was gonna wait for me behind cover to get an easy kill with it. But I still took the risk and I rushed him because I knew he was low on HP. And that's one of the benefits of turning on damage number from the basic settings. You can see that the number's color is white, which means he lost his shield HP. And even when I rushed him, I didn't go directly from the door. I ran towards the wall to narrow his aiming angle and he ended up missing his shot. It would have been a great ending to the game if I hit the quick scope in the end. It was actually very close and it barely missed his head. So before I end the video, I'll share my overall opinion on the MX-9. I don't think this gun is good as a main gun, especially these days where every single enemy is using a shotgun. What mostly matters right now is the killing time. And even though the MX-9 has a pretty decent killing time, it's still not good enough. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>